So today we're going to be solving exponential equations. Now, an exponential equation is something that looks like this. You have something on the left side is equal to something on the right side, and both of the equations usually end up having the same base. Now, if the bases are not the same, then you can't do something like this. If I have something symmetrical, I could do this. But if that doesn't happen, we have some steps we have to follow. Now, one of the things that we want to I want to emphasize is that when we have our same base, you'll hear me use the term, you'll hear me use the term drop the base. Now, that only happens when we have both bases on the same, on either side of our equation. And just like before, we have a few unique things that we're using for our bases. Now let's take a look at our problems here. Suppose I have bases that aren't the same. Now in this case, we have two to the x is equal to 64. Now, just like yesterday or last lesson, we used bases of two, three, uh, five, seven, and 10 for most bases. And that's what's gonna end up being used in this unit. Now, we're going to go through a series of steps, then we're going to do these problems. Now, let's begin. So, you remember change of base from the worksheet yesterday or today. Um, basically, we used change of base and we basically made sure that the equations or numbers had exactly the same base. We're going to do the same for our next problem. So we're using change of base to write both sides with the same base. Now, once you've used power of a power or anything to equate the sides, then we just simply set the exponents equal. And then we go and solve the equation. Let's, so let's go and do that. Now our current problem has two to the x is 64. The big hint here is two to the x. Remember that's one of our regular bases that we're using to replace this number on the right side. We're gonna try and make it match to this. So now we're gonna write two to the x is equal to, well, two to the six because two to the six is equal to 64. Now, so that was part one. We're done part one. Now that we have the bases equal and nothing is impeding our progress, we can now drop the base, i.e. x is equal to 6. And there is our final answer. Let's go on to some more difficult problems. Most of your problems that you're going to start off with in this section will look like this but we'll get into some more difficult problems next suppose i have 3x minus 1 equals 27. the big hint here is we have 3. so we're going to use 3 as our base so we got 3 to the x minus 1 on this side is well 27 is 3 to the 3. Now that the left and right side of our equation have exactly the same base and there's nothing left to do, all we're going to do is drop the base. And so now we have the equation x minus 1 is equal to 3. So now we need to move this minus 1 to this side. Moving it to the other side, we end up with 3 plus 1 is equal to x. Simplifying the right side, we end up with x is equal to 4, and that is our solution. The next problem we have is very similar. We'll do it again. So we have 5 to the 2x minus 1. 625 is 5 to the 4, so you can check that, and you're good to go. And now, since we have that, our bases are the same on both sides, we drop the base. So we got 2x minus 1 is equal to 4. Now, we're going to move our minus 1 to the other side, and so we have, well, 
we have 2x might is equal to 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5. So 2x is equal to 5. So now we must get rid of the x, so we divide both sides by 2. And most times in your notes on your homework, you would get 5 over 2. But sometimes I'll ask you for the decimal, or you could write 2.5 as your answer. Both are valid. Now your homework for this part is day two and it's worksheet number two. Good luck. Now I didn't get to teach this in class yesterday, but recall we had stuff like this on our first day of changing the base. So suppose I had eight cubed times two to the four. We'd use two as our base and we'd get 2 cubed raised to the 4 times 2 to the 4 and we'd simplify and make sure that make sure that the 2 cubed and the 4 turns into 2 to the 12 times 2 to the 4 and we'd use our basic rules so we get now 2 to the 16 which is some ridiculous number now imagine I give you an equation where both sides of our equation don't have a nice base Remember, our base numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 10. Looking at this equation here, the base equation, the base exponent that we're going to use for these two numbers, 8 and 32, is going to be 2. So let's go and replace them. So we're going to have bracket 2 cubed raised to the x is equal to, well, 32 is the same as 2 to the 5. And now we must do power of a power on this bracketed expression here. So we end up with 2 to the 3x is equal to 2 to the 5. So now that our base is the same, we go back to what we were doing before. We drop the base, and now we solve for x by dividing both sides for 3, and we end up with x is equal to 5 over 3, or 1.7. Now. For the next problem we have here, we have 625 is equal to 125. Our big hint is the number 5 at the end, so we're going to use 5 as our base. So now we're going to have 5 to the 4 replacing 625 all raised to the x, and 125 is just 5 cubed. So now we're going to assume we're going to use power of a power, so we need to multiply these two to get 5 to the 4x is equal to 5 cubed. So now that we're here, we just drop the base to get 4x is equal to 3. Now we divide both sides by 4 to get rid of the 4, and we end up with x is equal to 3 over 4, otherwise known as 0.75. Let's can and the types of questions for this are on your sheet and you're going to do number three like that. Good luck. Moving on to question type four. We have some more difficult problems. So let's go through them. I'm just going to go through them and show you. So for this problem here, 4 and 28, the number that we can replace, both 4 and 28, the base is going to have a 2 in it. So let's do that. And so now we get 2 squared raised to the power of 2x minus 3 and 128 is just 2 to the 7. So now because this is power of a power, we have to apply the 2 to the 2x and then 2 to the minus 3 to get 2 to the 4x minus 6 is equal to 2 to the 7. And now we're back to dropping the base. 
4x minus 6 is equal to 7. Now we're going to move our 6 to the other side. So now we're going to get 4x is equal to 7 plus 6, which is 13. So 4x is 13. We divide both sides by 4. And we can leave our answer as x is equal to 13 over 4, otherwise known as 3.25. Now we'll do these last two problems exactly the same. Now you'll notice on the left side, we replaced 36 with six squared. Make sure that's in a bracket. It's all raised to the X minus one and 216 is the same as six cubed. With and for the left side, it ends up being six cubed to the X. Now the difference between this problem and the previous problem is that we have to basically do our distribution, our power of a power on both sides of the equation. So now we end up with six squared raised to the X minus one is gonna be, well, the two hits the X and the two hits the minus one. So now we end up with six to the two X minus two is equal to now the three and the X are hit against each other because it's power of a power. So now we end up with six to the three X. And now what we have to do for this is we just simplify by dropping the base. So we get two X minus two is equal to three X. And now we have to put all our X's on one side. We have to isolate. In this case, all my X's are always left, are always put on my left side. So I'm gonna move my X here over to the front and 3x becomes minus 3x plus 2x minus 2 equals 0. And notice I have a minus 2 on the wrong side, so I'm going to move that over here. So now we're going to get, well, 0 plus 2 is negative 3x plus 2x. And we end up with negative x on the right side equals 2. And in order to get rid of that minus sign, we both we divide both sides by negative 1. And we end up with x equaling negative 2. This last problem, I'm just going to go through it really quickly. It shouldn't be too difficult. All you need to realize is that our base for these two is going to be 3. And we have for the right side, uh, 243 is three to the five, raised to the two X plus one. And now we need to add, we now apply power of a power to both sides of these equations. So this and this, and this hits this, and we end up with this problem. And now that we have this solution, we're gonna drop the base because both of the bases are the same. And we move all our x's to one side and all our numbers to the other and then combine like terms. So we get something like this. Then we end up with, with x equal negative 11 over 7 as our final answer. Now your work for today, I want you to try working on number 3 in our set.